Hello, welcome. My name is San. This is a reading today for Aquarius. There are no dates on my readings. I trust that when they find you, if they resonate, then they're yours at that time. Aquarius, I'm doing your reading today with the Light Seers Tarot blended with the with the Muse Tarot in one stack. So you will see a mix of both in your spread today. We've got the Ten of Materials on the split, which is very fitting and suited, absolutely, because there's now beginning to be a collective theme in the readings that's talking about community. So that's that's it right there, community. And then the Six of Inspiration, which is interesting because the Six of Wands kind of talks about, well, it talks about success, but you think about it kind of being um, a particular person, like an individual that is coming into success with, you know, kind of all of the others witnessing that. So it seems to be a very independent journey. So, and I'm really noticing this, this beam of light here in the star over her head. It's like, it's talking about highlighting your success, highlighting your success. It's almost like what I'm seeing here with what's on the table and the themes that have been emerging over the last few readings and now this, it's talking about maybe really successful people all coming together. It's like they've reached, you've all reached success or the pinnacle of your career or, you know, however, however you want to describe it before you come together. So it's becoming like this amazing mastermind think tank kind of energy. Okay, so let's pull an overall energy today from the Creativity Oracle. I'm gonna, if you saw yesterday's reading, I got frustrated with this deck, but I'm gonna give it another chance today. So Creativity Oracle for Aquarius. my little kitty meowing out there. Obstacles. Do not dwell on how you are going to surmount obstacle, obstacles presently in your way. Do not dwell on how you are going to surmount obstacles. Okay, so that's really interesting because... Okay, so... Because, I'm trying to get my thoughts straight about this because it's all coming in really quickly. Don't focus on the on how you're going to overcome the obstacles. There's, a, there's something else that wants your focus right now. And I want to say that it's this kind of coming together with this collective. It doesn't have to be a massive group of people. Maybe it's just you or one or two or three others with the three of cups being the first card here on the table. It's talking about focusing on relationships. It's almost like if you focus on these new relationships or strengthening these relationships, especially amongst people that are really kind of standing in their power, I want to say, um, that perhaps the overcoming the obstacles part comes is like a natural outgrowth of that community. See what I'm saying? So it's like, don't come into it necessarily focused on how you're going to overcome that's not the focus of the group. The focus of the group is the coming together and the um, the sharing of wisdom or the sharing of... There's been a theme in the... Re well, it's interesting because it, it went through a kind of an idea of separation and then coming back together after the separation. I'm starting... I thought that that was like a future event, but now I'm starting to think that the separation aspect may be behind us, right? It could be the last year and a half that we've all lived through. So now we're in, moving into a phase of the coming back together part. And the coming back together part, although there is a lot of work to do, the main focus, at least in this phase, is just to maybe even just become reacquainted. Become reacquainted with yourself as a... As a incredibly social person as well, right? It's like everybody's coming out of hermit mode, perhaps. So um, the, beginning with the Three of Cups and the Ace of Cups as the first two cards on the table, and then, and then the Wheel of Fortune a little bit farther on here, this right away kind of hooked into the extended from yesterday's reading that was talking about everybody gathering together. I've been getting this image of like a, a very um, 
crowded in a sense dinner table where everybody's coming together to share a meal and it's this beautiful sharing energy and it's like there's no particular there's nothing urgent going on there's nothing it's just it's just an amazing relaxing experience of people gathering together actually i'm just realizing it's thanksgiving weekend here in canada so that's definitely going on across canada i hope this weekend but so anyway okay the Ace of Cups and the Three of Cups is talking about that coming together. Um, and then um, with the Page of Swords coming next, it was bringing in this idea of learning from each other. This was the really beautiful thing that came out of the extended from yesterday. It was talking about kind of like passing the bowl or passing the hat around the table, almost like each one around the table being able, to, like given the microphone, given a chance to speak and share their experiences with others share their experiences but maybe it's bigger than that not just talking about your story perhaps or your recent experiences but actually almost stepping into this position of teaching the others what you know or teaching the others your particular craft it's something like that it's like everybody around the table with this wheel of fortune here that's this everybody sitting around the table all coming together with a shared purpose although that's not the focus of the gathering that's the amazing thing i want to say that it's the outgrowth of the gathering is not the reason for the coming together in the first place i'm not sure why that's significant but being the wheel of fortune is talking about that this is a gathering and of course we're not necessarily talking about one evening sitting around a table i mean this could be something that gathers over time like that you're expanding your friend group or just becoming more social again right including more people in your every day so what was I about? Oh, that this gathering together is it coming through with the Wheel of Fortune here is talking about that. Well, it's that shared purpose, but it's this idea that as a group, as a collective, we are going to pivot. We are going to make progress. Progress. We are going to move forward because the chariot comes next, right? So the Wheel of Fortune and the chariot. What I was seeing here with this everybody gathering together and sh contributing, everybody contributing. But like I said, it's not just like a storytelling kind of contributing or maybe even just a like sharing of resources or pooling of resources. That kind of an idea has been coming up. But I want to say that it's more like everybody's stepping into the position of teaching something specific to the rest of the group. So everybody kind of adding their spoke to the wheel, which creates the ability to move it then, right? It's almost like constructing the wheel in order to be able to make movement forward next, right? It's like the chariot comes out of this. Big movement forward comes out of this. And then with the magician next, it's talking about a collective a collective collaborative creation right with the magician it's interesting so we're talking about everybody bringing their bit to the table and sharing and teaching it to the rest of the group it's almost like so that then you have an entire crew of magicians it's assembling a crew it's interesting to me, I mean, it's interesting to me how, I mean, if you have a crew of people all working on, say, some sort of a production, putting on a show of some sort, everybody has their unique skills, but there's, for some reason, there's this idea of everybody having all of the skills, not necessarily like certain people specializing. I'm wondering why that's being emphasized, or maybe I miss translating it maybe we are just talking about everybody bringing their particular thing to the table in order to create a really dynamic and diverse crew of people right to create something really powerful so in the temperance card coming next this temperance today was coming in really powerfully with this idea this idea this energy of um it was kind of coming through as like a nod from spirit from guides from source perhaps 
it was like a personal addressing of me is how I felt. It's like this one is coming in and saying, yes, Sam, that's the message. It's that it's really significant. It's a really significant and timely message. So he's just coming in kind of as a nod and, and talking about why. Why this is significant? He's saying that um, there's been a pause, but that movement is about to begin again is what I'm seeing here. Movement is about to begin again. And there's a bit of, there's a bit of disruption here. How do I articulate this? This is, can be challenging. There's a bit of disruption to go. It's interesting because we're saying don't focus on the obstacles. It's almost like this synchronistic coming together with a group of people just as some kind of um, movement begins in, in our world or in our lives that is bringing, kind of ushering in big change. And this group is going to be the crew that you move through this phase with, kind of constructing something new for yourself and for the rest of the group. Because I feel like it's almost like a, a some, Structures are coming down. I mean, that's really apparent, right? We're all experiencing it. Society, the world is changing. Structures are coming down. That's what's, that's what's happening. Actually, okay. So. It's kind of talking to me about that there has been an, an influence on our lives. Maybe that's the Hierophant energy with the moon coming in. It's kind of like there's been this. This energy, okay, there's been an energy that has been um, moving and guiding us, right? This could be governments. This could just be whoever the authority is in your life. I mean, I know we're all independent and um, sovereign beings, but there's definitely a governing authority or a, a, at least a, an underlying structure of rules and regulations. If that's, if that's how it applies for you, that's kind of how I'm seeing it though because it's coming up with the Hierophant, but the Hierophant is coming in with the tower here. So it's talking about that, that those energies are, are being brought down. It's not, okay, it's not necessarily that in your life, and we're not necessarily talking about governments or government regulations. This could be very personal to you, Aquarius, however this, this applies in your life. It's like the authority figure is being dethroned in a sense is how I'm seeing it. The, the, the one that, or the energy, the, the collective body that had, um, it was the cause and effect in your life. That's what the moon energy talks about. It's the cause and effect. It's the underlying current kind of underneath all of your choices, whether you realize it or not, you're, you're moving within a society, within a framework, within the matrix, perhaps, right? So what I'm seeing here is that that is, that is coming down with the two of voices. This two of voices kind of talks to me about, right now it's talking about history, actually, because usually it's very personal kind of, um, maybe even needing to look well look into your past or look into past lives in order to clear a blockage to move forward that's what this two of voices talks about for me usually it's like this um i usually give guidance to seek like hypnosis or past life regression in order to clear out a blockage right so but that's coming up with tied to this tower and this hierophant card so there's it's like the the blockage is being cleared out. There's been a blockage kind of in, perhaps in our collective energy or in your life specifically, Aquarius, that has been a hindrance for your progression forward, that it, you know, it may have been really difficult for you to pinpoint where exactly the resistance was coming in because it wasn't necessarily personal and your own, like your own personal history, it's kind of tied to this Hierophant, right? I mean, maybe the Hierophant is a specific individual in your life. Maybe we're talking about your boss or 
your parent, something like that, right? So the Hierophant is coming down with that is kind of like it's clearing out this long history of this um, underlying influence, this guiding influence. It, it's not necessarily that it's not seen or unknown. It's not that it's unseen or unknown by you. It's just that it's kind of, uh, it's not, it's not the main focus. It's kind of the guiding principle, if that makes any sense. So temperance here is saying, okay, there's been a brief pause very quickly, very soon. You're going to be making a, uh, the next step. That's going to, there's going to be this kind of domino effect where events will unfold. And what is required of you is really intentional, focused, deliberate creation or deliberate input. This, this nine of materials is wanting to tie to the wheel today. When it was coming up, it kept popping up in the pre-shuffle, this card. It was kind of um, sitting next to other cards that were expanding it out in a really big way that I've never seen before. It didn't play out that way in the, in the final layout here, but it's drawn my attention to the this expanding energy, which I want to say is this is this wheel, and the wheel is talking about this collective contribution of a group of people coming together and adding all of their very deliberate, focused. What am I trying to say? I'm for some reason I'm trying to avoid the word manifestation because I feel like it takes us in a direction that has a lot of other stuff in it that I'm trying not to bring into the mix here. Okay, so it's talking about being very mindful of the aspects that you are adding, but that's like, it's like everybody around the table is contributing to this kind of potluck in a sense, and it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and it's incredibly powerful. It's like the influence is expanding outwards, and it's like it, it has this, its reach is expanding. I wonder if actually this is really fascinating because I'm suddenly seeing the connection between, between you see this here, right? This expanding energy here and the, that what I'm describing here, this card actually came out before the tower, right? It's like this guy here is, is coming in and saying, okay, your next steps are to be very focused on what you're putting into your projection forward, right? Be very mindful and deliberate about what you're putting in this kind of shared bowl here, right? Passing the bowl around the table. Everybody's adding their contribution. Um, that card, these two cards came right before these cards. So I'm wondering now if this is triggering this, which is really fascinating. So if there is a bringing down of the Hierophant energy, it could, well, that's what we're, okay. It's summing up this card, this obstacles card, where it was saying, don't focus on how to overcome the obstacles, focus on this gathering and enjoying the company of these others. And it's almost like in coming together and enjoying the company, it's going to naturally kind of evolve to this place where everybody's strengths and abilities are going to be highlighted and added to the mix, right? Added to the, to the, what do you want to call it? To the pot, I guess. That is the focus. We're not focused. It's like in this time of gathering with these people, we're just focused on all these beautiful things that we all have that are being highlighted by being with each other, right? We're not focused on the tower or the Hierophant. It's like that's the farthest thing from our minds. But it's almost like there's a cause and effect relationship here, which is interesting because I was saying that the Hierophant has had a cause and effect relationship on influencing or kind of steering or guiding or having authority over your life, even if in a really subtle way. But this is almost like, I guess it's like taking back power and control. And it's almost just kind of a byproduct of this masterminding think tank kind of energy. It's just this outcropping. So it's like this gathering of people 
and their shared stuff. I was saying it's like a, a crew of magicians, maybe not even realizing it, that you are just by getting together and masterminding, it's kind of setting setting a course. It's setting your course. And that set, and now I'm seeing like the the bow waves of a of a ship moving through the water, which is interesting because the moon here, the moon talks about that. It talks about the moon and the water on the planet being moved. The moon and the like the water on the planet being the collective consciousness has been subtly moved by this Hierophant energy for a long time. Now it's like you and your group are kind of getting out ahead of it and it's kind of flipping the script or it's taking over. It's It's got a farther reaching. That's what this is talking about. See, I was saying it was expanding. It's almost like this Hierophant's reach is only what it is. It's not being added to because I want to say that the Hierophant particularly in these times that we are in, is not gathering any new uh, friends, right? There's nobody new sitting at the table around the Hierophant. In fact, there may be a lot of people abandoning ship around the Hierophant. You are gathering new friends and new connections. And so your influence is expanding. And it's now getting to the point where it's expanding out farther than the authority that was in place for a really long time significant amount of time. So it's like, if we talk about like, um, what am I trying to say? Well, I mean, I guess you can get into man the idea of manifesting. Um, the fact that you kind of project your future out of head of you by the focus that you're holding today. It's like you and your group are just projecting out farther or bigger or kind of like having a bigger stamp over the timeline projecting out into the future and so in a sense you're overriding you're overriding the influence that has always been has always been there okay so i think we're gonna, i think i'm going to leave it there aquarius i'm going to continue to pull cards create an extended and see what else wants to come out about this if you're interested in that the link to the extended is in the description but i feel like i've said everything that i need to say here it's really like there's there's no concern you have you and your friends have no real concern just enjoy each other's company and it's almost like ideas inspiration is just going to spill forward from that naturally and it's it's just going to take you okay i'll see you next time thanks bye